Hey there, bike vlogger here. On my way to work, commute to work, bike to work. Today let's talk about getting your pants stuck in your chain, in your bicycle chain. So, what can you do to prevent that from happening? Because when you get your pants stuck in your bike chain, it's going to rip them up. They'll also get dirty. Uh, riding through mud and whatnot. So what do you do to prevent all that? You got a couple options. You could use a Velcro strap. Drop the bugs. Uh, uh, maybe a reflective strap is probably a good idea. Uh, you could do a clip, some sort of a metal clip. I mean, heck, you could use a binder clip um, you know, from your local office supply store. Uh, you could tuck them into your socks. That's what I do. I just tuck my pants into my socks. It sort of effectively keeps them from getting ripped up and from mucked up. So, yeah, I definitely recommend that. It's really the only way to go. You can get these things that are sort of like uh, big socks or uh, sort of like boots you can put over your your feet or your shoes and get over shoes that's really more for eh, it's more for riding in the rain you, you can do that though essentially all you're doing there though is it's just like I said you're stuffing your pants and your socks Woo, it's a little chilly out I'm a little chilly right now it's like 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's supposed to get up to the lower 50s, but uh, yeah, it's rather chilly right now. I'm also obviously just doing the fingerless gloves and uh, sh short sleeves. I am wearing long pants though, so. I am trying to stay warm down by my legs, except for all this mashing I'm doing. Let's go right here. Alright, let's see if we can cut through back here. It's been a while since I've done this. Yeah, it's fine, it's wide open. That actually used to be opened up so trucks could get through there, but I don't know, they started closing it off. I guess because people were cutting through or it changed ownership and the new owners didn't want people cutting through or what the deal is. Let's go straight. That truck wanted to go that way. usually stop up here stop it on a hill and admit it now there we go So 
what else have I got for you today? Eh, that's pretty much it. I was just looking it up last night. I was sort of curious, is there really, is there any sort of better way? Is there any other sort of solution to getting, you know, your pants caught in a chain? And, uh, like, you know, is there an easier way? Is there a way I don't have to tuck my pants into my socks? And basically the only answer is, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. The only answer is, you know, a chain guard. So, there you go. I think that pretty much covers it. Chain guard, use your socks. Uh, use a clip or some a Velcro strap. Or I guess you could use a toe clip strap. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are your options. Up the hill. Red light up ahead. Should be green by the time we get up there. No cadence. I've been sort of thinking maybe I do one of my bike commutes sometime here where I'm like, you know, going a regular person's pace. Like, you know, 10 miles per hour, maybe even less. Just to show it's certainly possible. You're just going a little slower than I usually go. Nothing wrong with that. Thanks for watching. I think that pretty much covers it. I'll let these guys filter on past me here. And we're gonna slowly move our way over and signal. Let them know I'm coming. It's red up there, so it doesn't really matter. They'll have to wait anyway. Woo! Thanks for watching. See you next time.